Welcome to this is coming soon morning program. Today we have a very sad news that is happening nowadays, 2016, with African children, female children. Listen to this news. The terrifying rise of brass irony, barbaric ritual, sees young girls having their chest flattened with hot stuns to disguise puberty. Did you listen to it? Breast irony. The brutal flattening of a young girl's developing chest to protect her from rape and sexual harassment now affects 3.8 million women around the world, according to a United Nations report. The process uses large stuns, can you imagine it? A hammer or a spatula that has been heated over the hot coals to compress or mutilate the breast tissue and make the adolescent look less womanly. Can you imagine how sad, how painful it is to these children, those African female children. I'll read this part again so you can imagine how it is really harmful, dangerous, painful to these children. Breast irony, the brutal flattening of a young girl's developing chest to protect her from rape and sexual harassment now affects 3.8 million women around the world, according to a United Nations report. The process uses large stones, a hammer, or a spatula that has been heated over hot coals to compress or mut mutilate the breast tissue and make the adolescent look less womanly. What a sad news. It is a widespread prax in Cameroon, Nigeria, and South Africa, where the girl's mother being the abuser in 58% of cases, according to the Department of Public Health Service. It is done to prevent girls from developing breasts between 11 and 15 years old. Can you believe it? In the belief that a flat childlike appearance will discourage unwanted male attention and premarital pregnancy. Can you imagine children 11 and 15 years old are being mutilated? The mother often makes the ritual removing signs of puberty and so her daughter can pursue education for longer rather than being seen as ready for marriage. However, much like female genital mutilation, breast irony is widely considered to be just another form of hidden age. The words culture, tradition, or religion might come up with trying to explain this absurdly harmful practice. But as in the case of the female genital mutilation, these words are only thinly veiled excuse. London-based charity women's and girls development organization works with the police, social service, health and schools to raise awareness of breast irony in the UK and Cameroon. Their website states, breast irony is a well-kept secret between the young girl and her mother. Often the father remains completely unaware. Now listen to the innocence of the child. The girl believes that what her mother is doing is for her own good and keeps silent. The silence perpetuates 
the phenomenal and all of its consequences. Breast irony also exposes girls to numerous health problems such as cancer, abscesses, itching and discharge of milk, infection and dysymmetry of the breasts. Girls are also likely to experience cysts, breast infections, severe fever, tissue damage, and even the complete disappearance of one or both breasts. What a terrible thing that has happened to these little girls, African little girls. We should denounce it all over the world rather than using stuns or torturals, implements such as hammers, rich families prefer to use an elastic belt to press the small paps to prevent them from growing. You can see the pig here, the elastic belt pressing their breath. So far, there have been no prosecutions relating to breast irony in the United Kingdom, UK, but as awareness increases, there is more pressure on governments to take action. The charity added, adolescents are traumatized, mutilated. This is a serious damage, not only on their physical integrity, but also on their social and psychological well-being. And we must stop it. And we must denounce it and make this news being known all over the world. Children cannot be mutilated like those little girls are being. So in our program, we are spreading this news that girls are being mutilated in many African countries as a practice of a religion, ritual, or cultural. So we are also denouncing this news to all over the world because those African children can't be mutilated in this barbaric ritual. Let's pray for them. Let's help them anyway. Denouncing. Showing to the world, the whole world, what is being doing in front of our eyes. God bless you too much.